Synopsis Podcast Massacre contains spoilers and adult language. For more horror, visit us at our website at texaspodcastmassacre.com. Welcome to another episode of Texas Podcast Massacre, coming to you from Houston, Texas. I'm your host, Mitch, and with me, as always, is my co-host, Nate. Happy halfway to Halloween. Happy halfway to Halloween to you, too. And, of course, a special halfway to Halloween to our queen of unsuspecting victims, Lisa. Really, that's how we're going to mark the time. Halfway to Halloween. Halfway to Halloween. Yes. Oh, the halfway the halfway to Halloween queen, Lisa. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. That has that's got a ring like to it. it. That does have a ring to it. it has eight, yeah. <laughs> Do you like the ring that it has to it? I don't like the ring. We've been over this. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, goodness. Well, welcome to another episode of Texas Podcast Massacre, where each week we take a look at a different horror movie and debate a horror related topic with our unsuspecting victims. Who usually is not someone uh, we consider a horror fan. That is usually, although this week we're not doing that. We're going to do a little bit of a halfway to Halloween summer preview. Um, so this week uh, we're going to talk about some of the movies that are coming up pretty soon. I guess it's a little more of a newsy episode. Uh, we're going to get some uh, voicemail and uh, yeah, I think we're just going to see See where the spirit takes us. Um, Nate, how excited are you for just things in general, horror wise? I mean, I know you it pretty much, I know you've got all of the Bloom House films just ready to go. I hear James Wan has a know. new one that we're going to talk about, I'm sure. Um, I don't even know how many of these are Blumhouse ones. I don't think there's. They're many. either A24 or Blumhouse. I swear to God, if okay, you, well, if A24, you, A24 is represented. I'm about to say, <laughs> I, I'm, if, I will. If the list does have. You're going to have to not just pick from A24. It has to be a little bit from Column A, a little bit from Column. There's B. only a couple. There's only a couple. So. Okay. And Lisa, we're we're gonna throw you a bone. I want. I'm I'm interested to hear the summer movies that you are most interested in, even if they're not necessarily horror films. Although why would you be, why would you be even be interested? Um, And Nate, we're going to see if we can turn those into horror films. So it'll be a fun day. We're going to have a fun episode. Um, We'll be back with a normal movie review next week for mother's day. So I know Lisa's thrilled. Um, (laughs) (laughs) uh, But yeah, that's where we're at. Look, (laughs) I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let's before we start, let's you know, we we're a little behind in getting to some uh voicemail that we've had. Um, again, you can always call us and leave us a voicemail at 346 246 3143. Um, we're gonna get into first voicemail now and 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 go from there. Yeah, we'll we'll see how how I'm interested. I, I haven't listened to these voicemails yet, so I'm I'm interested to see what you good listeners have brought up for us. Um, Lisa, Nate, are you ready for the first one? Yes, let's do it. it. All right, here we go. This first one, I'll let him introduce it himself. Hey, Mitch, Nate, and Lisa, it's Victor. How you guys doing this week? Hope you're doing great. So on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre episode, Mitch, you said that a part of Lisa's contract, if she had watched the movie with the same title, she didn't have to watch it again. Well, she broke contract because the 1974 is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Chainsaw is two words. And the new one is called Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Chainsaw is one word and no the. So Lisa broke contract. And I hope you guys have a great episode and a great day. All right. Bye. 
I love it. There's no uh, question. No, in wow. no, <laughs> no, no. There is no. just okay. Both now of you stop talking. this, this <laughs> no. Both of you stop talking. You don't even get to respond to this voicemail. <laughs> First of all, okay. A contract implies I get something out of doing this podcast. Not necessarily. Okay. You, wait, wait. You get our friendship and our uh, our you. <laughs> You mean you, you don't get own. you don't get you don't get this inner sense of accomplishment and joy from having watched over two hundred something horror films with us, Lisa? It's way more than two. Has it only been two hundred? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> it keeps it's, getting. Better. I'm gonna tell you, Lisa. The number is not as high as you think it should be. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not even close. Oh. Second of all, no, no. And I'm not going back and watching that, especially after you two watched it and said it was horrible. Why the heck would I go back and watch it? I mean, that's fair. That is a fair thing. But I do love that our that I, I, Victor, look, um, our law department's Thought hiring. You're on my side, Victor. Well, I, I, our law department's hiring, and you, clearly you've got. <laughs> See, this is what I like. It's it, the best part of this is that it's semantically correct. That's the best way to be correct, in my personal look. Opinion. By the letter of the this law, this is what I give. I always give Mitch a hard time, like not adding the thes, like whatever the spell. Like, like I always give you a hard time. That is perfect. And, and why? And it makes no sense for Texas Chainsaw Massacre because I'm looking directly at two Blu-rays I have of the movie, and on the cover of one, it's the old original cover, which has chainsaw as one word, but the official. Uh, name the 1974 one has it spelled out into two words, which is just even more confusing, but technically correct. And that's the best way to be correct. So I, I applaud. I applaud that. Well, okay. So let's take let's take a s- step back here, Nate. Now this is our namesake episode or uh, you know movie for our podcast, and yeah. it's called and and, and and to your point, we didn't follow. Should, it. should podcast be two words? It, it should, should be, be the words. the Texas pod cast Space massacre. Cast. Yeah. I'm going to have to redesign our, all of our graphics no, and everything. At this no, point. that's I okay. Just... That's okay. It's fine. <laughs> please don't. Please don't. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It's not yeah, sitting right with me now. Don't. I've either well, way. No, no, no. I no. You know what? Hold on. What about the one with the, what's your face? What about the one with what's her face? Uh, from uh, Blade Trinity, Jessica Biel. Thank you. I couldn't think of her name. Blade Trinity was the best movie that she was in. Uh, that one was the the remake in the early two thousands when everything was remade. I believe that one has it spelled uh, with one word. So is that does that mean that our podcast <laughs> was named after the the early 2000s Jessica Beale Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie in which case that is our namesake movie I'd feel that's less not great. I feel less good that's about that great. one <laughs> Yeah I don't remember that movie being very good but I have not seen it since I think I originally came out um which is probably you know I don't know I can't wait till years ago or something I can't wait till the kids are old enough so that um uh, we can start Texas Podcast Massacre, the next generation. That's <laughs> oh my god! That is that is really what I, that's that's my hope and dream. No, you you um, should like that, uh, Lisa. Yeah, that's that's the one. That, that's the one, that, that's one with Matthew like, McConaughey. That's what Matthew McConaughey. The, <laughs> then they can review like the cartoon Adams Family, which would actually be really adorable. Yeah. Good. I, I, you know, there's that. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah no, the Texas you, Chainsaw, the next generation has Matthew McConaughey in it. So, and Renee I mean, Zellweger in it. And, oh, and Renee Zellweger forgot that. So, I mean, you're all in on this. Lisa. Never mind. I totally lost the thread of what you guys are saying. <laughs> but I, believe, I forgot Matthew McConaughey. If I remember correctly, it's like, it's like leather faced like stockings, right? As the, as the poster. Am I remembering oh this gosh. correctly? I, no, no. Well, maybe. I don't know. I don't. Let me look this up. I'm know. almost positive. I remember that. I'm like, what is? I mean, happening? I'm looking at, it, but I'm not seeing the one with the stocking. But I know which one you're talking about. I remember that. No, it's image. Yeah, yeah, red stockings. Yeah, Leatherface okay. is wearing red. Well, stockings. The one that I'm looking at does not have that. It has Matthew McConaughey's face on it. Renee Zellweger's in it. Um, it got a 16 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. So not bad. 
Five, so listen, you go, you give us a five star review and you say Lisa is contractually obligated to watch this film and no we'll do it. Way. And it's great because this one doesn't have a the in front of it. It's just Texas Chainsaw Massacre colon the next generation. So there could be even another next generation put a the in front of it. You have to watch that one. To too. be fair. This is, yeah. We, this is one of the best voicemails we've ever got. Yeah. I, I mean, he's absolutely that. right. We did say if it's the same title, oh, then you don't have to watch it. But like. <laughs> No, not a single one of these has any share any part of the title with any of the other ones. So I mean, they share, but it's not exactly the same. None right, it. it's right. fantastic. It's, it's a little bit, a little Love bit of um, yeah. This is Love great, it. Victor. As always, great to hear from you. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for calling. No, and- it's not. No, <laughs> no, Victor, you've hit your limit on voicemails. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right. Well, listen, Lisa, Lisa's going to work this out with legal. Uh, in the meantime, let's go to our second voicemail. Hey, guys, this is Gary from Big D. I wanted to call you and uh, get into this conversation about horror films on holidays. And uh, I was thinking to myself, if I was going to get into one that maybe has not been made and maybe I'm incorrect, but I think Columbus Day has never been touched. That would be an interesting movie. I haven't read the script because I think the script would suck if I wrote it. I just can't think of any way to make it really that awesome. But I could totally see it where some serial killer or some, I don't know, maybe Columbus comes back and haunts people for disenchanting his holiday. Uh, I don't know, just one of my thoughts. But I will say my dream has always been to make an Easter movie. And I know we already have Passion of the Crust. So I can't be the first to do it, but I will say I've always had this dream of making the movie where a 10 year old girl is happy go lucky and she's friends with a uh, not so great guy who is uh, not bad, but just kind of, I don't know, terrible looking and wearing a bunny costume. Everybody thinks that he's the killer, but guess what? Uh, she's the actual killer at the end. Everybody's shocked. Just kind of think sleep away camp. And bad Santa mushed together in a weird way. I haven't wrote the script on that one either, but eh, just some thoughts of mine. Hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you guys around. Excellent. Oh, my God. This is incredible. That movie is called The Bad Egg. Uh, God damn and, it, dear. <laughs> yep. Already got it. Already got it. Nate. The Bad Egg. You're welcome. Oh, so, God, that's good. That's, that's a good it. title. All right. Gary, that was easy. That was easy. We're going to give that one to you. Um, Gary, great to hear from you. So let's let's break these down. There's two different things here, and I do want to talk about. That. I want to dive deep into the bad egg here. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna workshop this these ideas a little bit with you. Um, Columbus Day. Okay, first off, there is a Columbus Day movie with Val Kilmer. I was about to say. I, I thought I was like because I Kilmer saw it in one. Yeah, oh because I saw gosh. it. It is not a horror movie. See, I would go Columbus Day the opposite way. Uh, you saying Columbus comes back. I'm going to go to straight up Stephen King. Like, oh, what did you do and murder all the Arawak Indians? Arawak Indians coming back to take down the descendants of Columbus would be incredible. Personally, or is that too Stephen King? Um, I mean, it's it's a little Stephen King, but he's, he, you know, there was a, a Stephen King assance recently, so I guess it'll be okay. <laughs> Okay, um, that would be. You're gonna allow that? I, 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 yes, as a sole authority. Uh, oh my that. God, Wilmer Wilmer Valderrama was in Columbus Day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we just need to really? watch this for the episode. Yeah, we need to watch this episode for the. Video. Yeah, I'm it not gonna it, lie. It, I'm I'm intrigued now. <laughs> <laughs> Between Val Kilmer and Wilder Valderrama. Yeah, I mean, you you really got a lot this. going. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, man, I I don't know where this this is not going the and way I, would, I thought it was going to go. And I would say for the Easter one, I mean, look, Passion of the Crust doesn't have <laughs> doesn't like claim to Easter. Yeah, I don't I, think it was technically an Easter movie, so I think you're fine. I think Easter is. is if anything, it was more of a Good Friday it. film, not so much a Easter. <laughs> um, so That's true. Take, take that for the, as you will. The we don't see wanna, with, yeah we don't see the ginger dead man rise three days after the crucifixion. It's just, yeah, that's that's a lot of time to bake. Um, that's a lot. That's, that's not enough yeast. Uh, no, I, I think oh. that the Easter one is great. I like it. It's it's the bad seed, uh, the movie with the the blonde girl who's the evil one. Except it's the bad egg. It's Easter. I think that's spectacular. I think write that. Mm-hmm. Pitch it to Blumhouse. They have no movies coming out. Oh wait, there's a 500. If we're gonna get to it, but 
it's not a, it's not any worse than Conjuring Four is gonna be, or like the Nun Seven. So I mean, we're, we're, but you know, here, here, here's here, here's the tie-in, right? Here's how I think you do it. This is I'm spitballing here. Just a little bit. Let me let me run this through, Nate. Um, you gotta. I think the 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 trick has to be is that she is part of. I don't know. It's like an orphanage, or she's at some like. Surrounded by like all these like rich, you know, all the snobby like kids, whatever. And it's for like some big like uh, Easter egg hunt where there's going to be some big prize at the end. Right. Some reason why you get all these like shitty kid, other kids to, like show up and, and yeah, and do this. Right. And so it's like uh, a finger in one of the eggs, the eggs have all been hidden. Right. And there is you have the creepy Easter bunny that kind of shows up, but you never all the kills are off, you know, are off screen you know you just, so you do think it's the, that easter bunny and yeah every time the eggs are always in some sort of weird like death saw death trap kind of thing right um or whatever yeah. you could do a whole bunch you could do a lot of cool stuff you could do a little bit of the saw final destination the rube goldberg type thing right you could do just the straight slasher stuff whatever a lot of options at the end though the reveal the final shot has to be them all seeing like turning around and screaming and it's the last shot. It's her holding the Easter basket that's supposed to be full of eggs, but it's all of their heads. It's like ice cream, man. Yes. But like all of them. Yes. Interesting. If you die, this, got, I, I, this has got a little bit it, of a bloody birthday feel. Too, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. But I like that. I, I mean, I think you could, you could, you could, you could, you know, modernize it up birthday. a little bit. Yeah. But I like it. Yeah. I, I like the idea. I like the idea of the, the twist. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that. That's that's ripe. That's ripe wow. ground right there for sure. Yeah. I mean, the bunny, like the bunny, yeah. and you know, I mean, you, there could be so many tips, yeah, like hints along the way. She'd be wearing a dress with like bunnies on them, you know, very like obscure <laughs> kind of thing. I, you could do a whole bunch of like Lisa. Easter Lisa, eggs. you could put so many Easter egg. eggs in this. Please take the costuming away from Mitch. Please, do, please say you'll take. Oh that my part. gosh. <laughs> Gary, uh, I, I look when you make this film, like I, I, when this happens, you let us know. Yeah. We we will we will watch it. We will probably laugh at it, but we'll probably love it too. Um, uh, this sounds incredible. Nate to me. sounds Nate sounds about. like he's right already ready to give you a nine out of ten <laughs> on concept alone. So I think I think you've got a winner here. So so so. Follow that rabbit trail. Oh my God. What if, what if there's a kill where you dunk someone in like the vinegar coloring and that's how they die. Can you imagine a worse death than that? That'd be incredible. That would be incredible. Now. Whew. Yeah. I, it would be, it would be excellent if you will. On that note, we are <laughs> going to move over into our, our, our summer movie preview. Uh, but listen, we want to hear from you. We we love hearing these voicemails. This is this has been a lot of fun. Give us a call at 346-246-3143. Um and leave us leave us a voicemail. Uh we'll play it on the show. We'll listen to it and uh go from there. You can also always follow us or send us an email at uh Texas Podcast Massacre at gmail.com, TX Pod Massacre on Twitter, Texas Podcast Massacre everywhere else. Leave us those five star reviews wherever the hell you can. I don't know. Um, I haven't checked. We're on like Amazon Music now, like Prime Music. Uh, oh, I guess they started to do podcasts now, which is yeah, we're oh, everywhere. Eight. I signed up for everything. Yeah. So I mean, look, we try to keep keep track of like where people leave reviews. Um, if we don't like, if you don't hear us talk about on this show, <laughs> if we don't like it, you're about to say, if we don't like it, we're not going to uh, say anything about it. Right. Just, <laughs> just tell us, like, be like, Oh, Hey, I love the, I love this review. Uh, go do the, do the movie. I want to watch. It's like, cool, man. This, yo, know, you'd let us know. <laughs> we will. Thanks, bro. <laughs> thanks, bro. Do that. <laughs> um, I guess Amazon prime does not let you do five star review. So, same thing for your spot. I know we have a lot of folks listed on Spotify. Um, I don't know if there's a list. I, you look, we're not really. Super if you're on picky. Spotify. Send us an email and just put five star emojis on it and yeah. then just give us your thing. It's fine. You know, tag that us, on, tag us on crap. You share with people you like or don't like on social media. Um, Elon, you know, Elon Musk owns Twitter. Now tag us to him 
<laughs> it's weed as Adam, and that that counts. Sure. It, well, look, we're Lisa's not- Lisa Lisa's Lisa's dislike of all these movies could infinitely power vehicles. <laughs> I feel like that yeah. is well established, right? Like that's if you just could a channel renewable- that. That's a renewable resource. Oh, for sure. No, no wires needed. I think it'd be fine. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, let do all that. Let us know what movies you want to watch. Um, and even look, even if you don't want to leave us five star review, even if you think we are, and I quote, same old woke, woke bullshit. Um, <laughs> uh, you can believe it was uh, depressing woke bullshit. If I remember correctly. I don't remember. We find we find out that we'll confirm. I think depressing. It sounded more angry than depressed. Like it was. They were, I, I think I'm pretty sure they used depressing. I'll have to, okay. I'll have to look. We're, at we're yeah. anyway. Uh, but look, you, you can always recommend movies or anything. Uh, you know, it. We may not get to it as quickly uh, as others, but we will. We all. We always want to check out all the great and or terrible films because otherwise, if you don't re- if you don't pick movies. Then Nate picks the movies, and God help yeah. us, it is. And the theme months. Same negative. Hey, got, it's same negative with bullshit, by the way. You oh negative. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You have you have a you have a whole puppet month. I, I don't know why you're complaining. <laughs> well, when we get oh God. Yeah. Yeah. You can't complain. No, me. I can't complain. But we're gonna see. I, I I I it will be less complain than you're gonna do for the one puppet master movie I'm gonna make you watch. They're all in shutter now, unfortunately, too. So there's just, there's no excuse. There's no excuse. Hell, guys, I think our code still works. So go get go get that free month of shutter, maybe, or try if it works. TPM. Um, yeah, yeah, TPM. Use, use code TPM um, and watch. All right, let's get into these movies. I have 19 things on my list. 19. There should not be that many movies on this list. Lisa is, is already left. She's not even. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, what, mm-hmm. Nate, take us down. What movies do we have to look forward to? Hold for on. Summer? Hold on. Oh, hold okay. on. Hold on. Okay, okay. 19 movies, Nate. Uh, they're not all movies. Okay. Movies has- slash series or whatever. Correct. Yes. Over, under, I'm being generous at 10. How many I'll agree to actually watch. Oh, I think you'll agree to watch at least five. Okay, so you're taking under 10. What do you think, Mitch? Ah, uh, at 10's the line uh-huh. that you'll agree to watch. Like, not, not. I mean, cause if it's part but of I'd the But I'd be like, oh, yeah, I would watch that. Oh, the uh, okay. That you would willingly want to watch. You would really want to watch. That's the line. That's what we're going for. <laughs> Do I need to drop the line? I don't know what's. At, I, I feel like you need to start doing. Like, yeah, the I, I, I'm gonna take the Charlie under. Day diagram. Here. I'm gonna take what's the happening? under as well. <laughs> okay. No faith. You want to reset the line? No, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. We'll see what happens. Okay. All right, we'll see. I think more okay. than five, but less than ten. Okay. okay so just say seven. Or something. I don't want to okay. say that. It gives me more rage. All right. <laughs> Come Fine. on. Let's go. All right. So this year, things coming out. Lisa, a couple of weeks. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. I'm getting this out of the way first because I, just, I don't want to talk about it. Coming into theaters, I'm assuming that one is a yes for you. Yes. There you go. We're already one one. one. Win number one. I don't know how much of a horror film it will be. I guess we'll see. It, you can tell me if it's actually horror. If it is, I might check it out. It looks pretty screwy, so we'll see. But what is it rated? Is it rated R? Then it's... I don't know. It's Mitch, do you know? Probably it's not it's R. Probably it's, not it's, I doubt it's, it. It's not R. Yeah. So that, <laughs> that... I mean, look, it's possible. It's possible. I mean, it's a Sam Raimi joint. So it's not like, which I looked up, which is ridiculous that Sam Raimi is directing a Marvel movie. So it's got a shot, but I'm not, yeah, it's got a shot, but I'm not optimistic. Another movie that I'm not optimistic about is October 14th, Halloween Ends in theaters slash, I believe, streaming on Peacock again. Are you interested in that one, Lisa? I'm assuming that's a yes. Yeah, I'll watch it. Okay, so two for two. I would watch I, that one without the podcast because I want to see how it ends. I don't have high hopes for it, but I'll and it watch says it. ends in the title, so 
you know, hopefully you're getting what you pay for. <laughs> Or they decapitate them and then they bring them back with Buster Rhymes in the next movie. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, third movie on my list, I, I believe it's in order of the ones I like, uh, or that I thought we would, that it would be like Jordan Peele's Nope, July twenty second out in theaters. That's a nope. That's yes. a nope for you. There in the NBA playoffs, there was a Steph Curry commercial where he shoots a basketball in a barn. It bounces off the rim. It rolls out like through the open door and all of a sudden like the wind starts blowing and he's like, Nope. And he he puts his hood up and he turns away from the open door. It was pretty good good, actually. Yeah. And then it's like, by the way, this movie comes out in three months. (laughs) All right. Sure. Um, All right. Uh, This is, I believe, Oh, I I guess Blumhouse is related to Halloween ends. That's one Mitch. Uh, Another Blumhouse joint, the black phone, June 24th in theater, Scott Derrickson, Ethan Hawke collaborating again after the very good Sinister. Mitch, I know you're all over this one. Lisa, what do you think about this one? Kids kidnapped. What is this about? Kids kidnapped other dead kids of the other dead kids ghosts talk through this phone to help the kid who's now kidnapped escape. Oh, that sounds miserable. (laughs) Oh yeah, well, and Ethan Hawke is got like the creepiest like the mask is. It looks like yeah, it looks I've like the bottom the half of the, of, really the, of the fiend's mask from wrestling. Um, yeah, yeah it, it kids looks, in peril. Many kids died previously. Sounds like that's a no. Okay, that's a no. Next one, men horror movie just called men alex garland god well wait 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 real quick real quick sorry for 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 that one for black for uh the ethan hawk one um now it did does it change anything if i tell you that it did screen at fantastic fest and got pretty positive reviews oh the review the early reviews have been fantastic yeah and you know ethan hawk's a good actor so he's got that going yeah, for lisa him. does that change anything for you I don't think it does. Children. In no. <laughs> yeah. Lots of children in peril. Well, I don't think that children are actually dying. I think they've already, the ones that died have already died. Like, I don't think they're dying. This kid is kidnapped in a concrete room with just a weird phone. Uh, apparently it's black and color. Well, what the, yeah. well, the movie's going to be him. Con- like, spoiler alert. The kid's going to be fine. <laughs> the kid, no, the kids look at lollipops the whole movie and that's it. Lisa wants to go see that movie. Done. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Men, A24. Men. Sorry. <laughs> men, A24. May 20th in theater. So a couple weeks. Alex Garland. This is coming off of, well, he's done Ex Machina, Annihilation, and Devs, the TV show on Hulu. And uh, now he's got this movie. Looks like it's filmed during the pandemic because there's like four people in it. Um, Roy Kinnear is all of the men. So Roy Kinnear plays all of the different men in the movie. Does that intrigue you at all? So weird. And I, I like know. him. There you go. So okay. I was like, oh, that's cool. He's in this movie. Oh, wait, he's in this movie again. Oh, wait, again. Oh, wait, again. Oh, wait, he's CGI'd into a little kid. I, I just don't <laughs> I just don't know. Oh, come on. <laughs> that's guy, you could not have sold me any more on this movie <laughs> if you wanted to. You did a better job than the, the trailer. All right, but is that a yes or a no on men? Are you pro men or anti men? No, I'm anti men. You're anti men. All right, you're here first. Uh, your husband is the first to know. Crimes nah, of the future. No. Crime. Crimes of the future. June 10th in theaters. This is David Cronenberg. He's back. He's got a pretty good cast on this. Um, Kristen Stewart, Vigo Mortensen. Uh. It's his first original script in over 20 years that he's that he wrote. Any interest in this, Lisa? People grow new appendages and then get them taken out. I was going to say, Nate, you haven't told anyone what these movies about. <laughs> You're like, I here's his random names. End. Does this sound I like s- an interest to you? I saved it for the very end. It's like a body horror movie about surgery and, and metamorphosis and growing new organs. So every David Cronenberg film. Yes, I don't, think Lisa, I don't think Lisa's interested in this one, but I figured I would. I would you go. said Viggo Mortensen's in it. 
Okay. <laughs> yes. I knew I was waiting for it. Imagine a Vigo Mortensen <laughs> who is like so jacked up that he had that at one point in the trailer, he's getting a sonogram for his new, his new organ that's growing inside. <laughs> that's weird. I don't yeah. know if even he can save this. Yeah. I, yeah. Air, I just... Aragorn, hey, Aragorn's not gonna. <laughs> Come Maybe on, ten years ago, uh, not Lord of, Lord of the Spleens. <laughs> Boo! Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, next movie. Okay. Right, so obviously, that's a no. right. Next movie: James Wan producing, uh, Gary Doberman directing. September 9th in theaters: the remake of Salem's Lot. Oh goodness! You got vampires. You got Stevie King. You got the director uh, or the the writer, sorry, of The Nun, Annabelle, and It. Any interest in that one? What was the name of it? Salem's Lot. It's a remake of the oh oh the remake of seventy nine Stephen King TV movie. Yeah. No. That's why I figured he might be interested in. I don't think I've actually seen the original. Have I, Mitch? Probably I don't think I, if you certainly haven't watched it with me. No. Yeah, probably not. No. I don't think but so. But it's interesting. I mean, I know you guys will one. make me watch it, but. I don't know. I'm a little ambivalent on Salem's Lot. Yeah, I was about to say, Nate, okay. can, can, let me flip the, right. let me flip this around on you. It's a because I know your your intense dislike of the Wannaverse in general. Are you going to go see this movie? It's not intense dislike. Don't get me wrong. I just Nate. think it's overdone. I think it's overdone. Nate. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, probably not. Huh. I'm about to say this is this is even <laughs> more shocking that you're you don't want to see it versus Lisa. <laughs> All right, so that was the, that the, the now the next one is the Devil's Light. You have Virginia Madsen, uh, who you haven't seen much since, starring in Candyman, the original. This is a classic nun exorcism horror movie, which Lisa will probably hate. Again, it's called the Devil's Light, October twenty eighth, right by Halloween. Uh, good early reviews in theaters. Any interest in this? What the trailer? The trailer what, is a uh, nun with white eyes who's bleeding blood, or who has like blood coming out of her eyes with her straight white eyes. So this is different from the nun. Yes, this is a this is a nun exorcism movie, totally separate from. So this is an nun. exorcism on a nun. No, the nun is doing the an exorcism, and it comes from the same director who directed the last exorcism. So this guy knows his stuff. Exorcism wise. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, I figured that was a hard no. Blumhouse's own dash cam out July. Can I say one thing though, Nate? Yes, yes. Because because I'm just totally gonna segue way out of this conversation. Mitch and I just finished reading a book called My Best Friend's Exorcism. Okay. It's actually very good. Okay. It's a and it's a horror. He's kind of, I would say he's a horror writer. I mean, the books aren't really overly terrifying or anything. Like, they're not like Stephen King level scary, but they still like, there's one about the exorcism. There's one about vampires and there's another one. about. Oh yeah. The final girls club. So, you know, we review movies, but if you ever like, Oh, I want a good horror book to read. That isn't, I would say they're totally unsuspecting Victor friendly. I read all three of those pretty quick back to back and okay they were good so nice okay book recommendations yeah. in between movies i like it okay mitch sorry continue are, are you are you also uh, endorsing these books yeah no i've i've read three of them um and yeah i think that if you're if you're a fan of horror i, I, I agree with lisa I, I don't think there's anything in there that's gonna like Super freak you out. Um, I agree with Lisa. I don't think there's anything there. Okay. But but I think if you're like a horror fan, like there's enough like throwback stuff in these books that like you'll clearly pick up the references, but it, it'll feel um it doesn't feel 
it, it definitely does feel like more like Easter eggs, and I don't know Easter eggs, but like someone who appreciates and understands the source material and not just like ripping it off. Um, okay. Because it's Sounds very blatant. Like, so, like Final Girl Support Group, right? Like, it's very clear who the character is supposed to represent, even though in, in the book they're they're different, right? So, like, instead of it being Freddy, the main the main final girl fought someone called the Dream King. And I it, it's like it's like <laughs> I, sort someone of attacked kinda, me with a knife when I was babysitting people on All Hallows Eve. Well, yeah. So That's and weird. and and what's funny is it's like it's like these people get the <laughs> In that in that book, it's like, oh no, this actually happened. But then they also auctioned, like, sold off the rights to the movies, so they're act- so they actually were horror films based on these things that happened. And yeah, one of them is called like the Babysitter Murders, which is you know Michael Myers. And there's, it, yeah, it, it it's it, like you said, stuff like that where you're like, it's kind of it's kind of clever. I like I liked it. Okay, but is it as clever as June third coming to VOD dash cam? All caps. This is a Blumhouse joint. This is the next movie from Rob Savage, who you might remember, Lisa, as the director of Host. The <clears throat> the best Zoom horror movie I've ever seen. Yeah, I didn't see that one. This is a found footage movie that takes place on a dash cam while a couple is driving at night. That's interesting. Oh, you're in on this one. Well, but the, the, here's the problem. What's the subject matter? Because if it's like supernatural stuff, then no, I'm probably out. I'm pretty sure it's a supernatural action in there. Mm. Then I'm not thrilled. Okay. Wow. Well. <laughs> and make sure thrilled? that the host was terrifying. Uh, was scientifically, cool. the scariest movie it's, ever made. It's only, no, that's false. No, it's, it's only not. a 70 minute movie. 70 minutes, Lisa. You can handle that. Science. I can I can send you my Blu-ray, but it's actually a European region. Um, but I, I can send it to you. <laughs> so I have to get a special player. <laughs> That's correct. You can get a region unlocked player. Anyway, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. the next movie. Uh, oh, no, May no, go, 13th. go. We're going. We're go- I'm not letting you run away from that. <laughs> Host is the scientifically scariest movie ever made. No. It's Our, not scientifically scary. Yeah, they measured. They, hey, no, it, this this works because of the shorter, the much shorter runtime. But they uh, they did some like I mean, it's probably a bullshit study, of course. But they did a study where like they had people watch these horror movies. They were um, strapped up to like an EKG or whatever to watch. You know, watch. Oh, what pulse. was the sample size? Everyone on Earth. Interesting. Oh my God, you're gonna well, you're gonna do that for every scientific study, <laughs> Nate? That you know, it's everyone. Shut up. <laughs> just, was it, just uh, was, let the, it, was it was it was it statistically representative of the sample of all horror movies? yes it was yes. it absolutely oh, was what do you think about that there i don't know why don't, plus you, or jo- minus what? Why don't you jot that plus down in your little notebook percent. nate <laughs> <laughs> you know what probably won't be the statistically the uh, scariest movie may 13th on peacock Firestarter. No. While watching the NBA playoffs i saw the steph curry uh commercial i saw a commercial for Firestarter. That uh, features Zach Efron, and the end of the trailer was the line from the Firestarter: "Liar, liar, pants on fire." End of trailer. What do you, What do you think about wow. that, Lisa? Blumhouse. Last two were Blumhouse. Yeah, Blumhouse. Has there ever been a single Blumhouse movie I've liked? You like The Conjuring? Yeah, I guess I did. Weirdly enough, it was Conjuring Blumhouse. Wait, I, I'm second guessing myself now. Well, you like uh, Halloween, Halloween 2018. The first of the new trilogy. The first of the remakes, yeah. So it's starting to turn into the Star Wars stuff. The Purge. Um, Invisible Man was very good. Okay, so there's been Fre- some. Freaky, Freaky was good. I didn't see that one. I don't Unfriended think. Dark Web. No, we saw Freaky. That was with, we the, did? with, with was Vince Freaky? Vaughn. Yeah, Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. Oh, Freaky yes, it says Freaky. No, that one was good. Yeah, okay, we, went, okay. we went to we went to both Happy to Death Days. Yeah. Both Happy so Death been, Days. Okay, Get so out. There's been yeah, some. It was good. Hush. Yeah. Good ones. I'm going through Hush the list was now. Good. Oculus. Okay. Oculus was good. Yeah. So it's A24. I hate not Bloomhouse. That's good to know. You dislike A24 because their movies are too good. It's like it's almost scary how good mm-hmm. those movies are. Is that? Yeah, we'll see. That's it. Uh, okay, so maybe it's just Robert Edgar's. I don't. I mean, there's something there. I don't know. 
<laughs> well, I still got to see the Northman. So very excited about that. Uh, two Hulu movies coming out with TBD timeframes. So no time frame. But the first movie is Prey, which is a predator prequel of a predator versus a female Native American warrior in the woods. Sounds incredible to me. Sounds incredible. Premise. So is it like the how they first came here? I don't know. I mean, who knows how long they've been coming here? But Predator versus Native American warrior. Yeah, I think it's in the misty be in the cool. misty forest. Looks say that again, Mitch. I think it is supposed to be a prequel to the. Um, the well, it's a prequel, Predator. obviously, because yeah, it yeah. takes place in like you know whatever. 1600. But I'm just curious if it's like the origin story, like, okay, this is the first time they came. I mean, you can always do more. I don't know. They're never going to stop creating that Predator movies. It's going to be like a Predator. It's fine. I'll watch it. Like a a single cell organism versus a Predator at some point. Who knows? But um, looks interesting. As interesting as Hellraiser, the movie. And there's going to be a TV show both on Hulu this year. Oh, no. This is David Bruckner's film after the night house. And if anyone who does the night house is interesting in my book. So Hellraiser, Lisa, big Hellraiser fan. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was which one is, which one is Hellraiser? I'm confusing. Pin, Hellraiser pinhead. Pinhead. Pin, yeah. no, it is pinhead. Okay. Hellraiser. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not and, confusing it. Okay. So yeah. So then, there's also a movie called Resurrection with really good reviews. Rebecca Hall's next horror film after the Night House, August 5th on VOD. Rebecca Hall in Night House was incredible, Lisa. You should definitely watch that one. That movie. Is, I know. Y'all said it was so good. I might have to go back and watch very it. Very good. At one point, it was like so tense. Mitch was like, What what are you doing? Are you okay? Yeah, <laughs> you movie. got you I got I, I, I was, was like, for you. This is awesome. I was so jacked. It was awesome. Uh, Rebecca Hall is really good as an actress, uh, other than Kong versus uh, or uh, Godzilla versus Kong uh, last year. Um, there's a A24 movie, but what if I what if I pitch this movie? Bodies, bodies, bodies. August fifth in theaters. A24 plus Pete Davidson. What do you think about that, Lisa? What is that even about? It's a, bodies, bodies, bodies. I don't remember that one exactly. So I like Pete Davidson. Okay, here we go. So maybe. Here we go. And it's got Pete Davidson, so you know it's not going to be more, it's going to be less of an art movie just yeah. for the fact that they cast Pete Davidson. So you have that going yeah. for you. The tagline is, this is not a safe space. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. She's in on that. Uh, I'm in. Mitch is out. Oh boy. Uh, you're in, you're in, you've, been in, you've been in on a good amount here. Um, there's one called Don't Worry, Darling. September 23rd in theaters. Olivia Wilde directing Florence Pugh and Harry Styles. Oh. 1950s utopian commune with a dark secret. Oh, Lisa, Lisa's yeah, in, in on this one. All right. I'm in. in. Yeah. Okay. Olivia Wilde did Book Smart. Now she's doing this. So, okay. One more. He's also dating Harry Styles. Oh, well, that makes it easy. Uh, The Watcher, June 3rd in theaters, Micah Monroe from The Guest and It Follows. It is a Hitchcockian thriller from Chloe Acuno, who recently directed a segment from VHS 94 from last year. Do you know Micah Monroe? Do you know who that is, Lisa? No. What if? What would you have seen her in? Because I didn't didn't watch It Follows. You didn't see It Follows. You didn't see The Guest. You didn't didn't? see... The Guest sounds so familiar. I don't don't know what else she's been in that you would have seen. Villains is pretty good. Independence Day Resurgence. (laughs) <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. She's been in a bunch of horror movies that are really good. Oh, if you're if you're talking about a, she's in a movie called Labor Day, which is a which is definitely a movie that uh, a holiday that needs a horror movie related to it. The workers okay. come up and kill all the bosses. Labor Day. Boom. Oh, huh. it's one of the workers is killing the people, the high up people at this company, but no one knows who it is. That's an incredible movie. Labor. Interesting. Day. 
Slaper Day. I don't know. There's a lot of th- ways you can go with there. Um, okay. There is a documentary coming out May 19th on Shudder called this, this is Mitch's. I think Mitch might be a producer on this movie because this is right in his wheelhouse. It's called The Found Footage Phenomenon. It is a documentary about found footage horror movies. Mitch, how excited are you on that one? Uh, we'll see. I feel oh, like- come on. Be excited. Found footage movies, your favorite. Okay, but I mean, it's a documentary about a bunch of movies I already know a bunch of shit about. <laughs> I, it just depends on what new thing they're going to say about it. There's probably a, a behind the scenes making of, so it's a found footage on found footage. Oh my god, a found footage there on found go. footage. See, see, it's Inception. I was about to say that was like the worst Inception pitch I've ever heard. No, no, <laughs> it's a documentary about the documentary. Um, okay, well, I thought you would like that. And the last thing is coming out the end of this week, season four, the last drive-in with Joe Bob Briggs. So. Lisa, I know you're not a huge fan of Joe Bob Briggs. So no. So there you though. go. Yeah, I am. There you they, go. And yeah, I don't think they actually I think they, they keep it pretty um quiet about what movies he's actually going to look, watch each uh, season. Like I don't think they they don't I mean I, I'm asking you, Nate, they, they haven't mentioned what he's gonna actually watch this season, right? I did not I did not see that. So I'm I mean, gonna it's going to be stuff that you can get on Puppet or on Puppet Master. Sorry, on uh, Shutter. So I'm hoping it's Puppet Master uh, because a Joe Bob Briggs <laughs> discussing Puppet Master seems like a pretty awesome thing to make you have. Seems, seems like it should, that should that should, seems like that should be more of a uh, mystery science theater than a Joe Bob Briggs. But that's fine. Can't wait to <laughs> I can't wait till you're proven wrong, Nate. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> history, history will will show. Oh, history will prove and, out. And Mitch, one one last thing. May first, Eli Roth's History of Horror season three. You talked. You liked the other ones. Did you like? This they're one? all right. I think. I think they're a good. So, I think if you are new to horror, or at least kind of. Um, a horror enthusiast. I mean, you probably will like them. I don't know that you necessarily get a whole lot of new information out of these. Um, the biggest thing complaint I have is like, so they go up on shutter because shutters with AMC plus as, as part of that overall package, I think um, too. And they have like the actual, just straight up interviews with Eli Roth, where he's talking a lot. Like, part of what's cool about the show is they talk about movies. He has these little, like, you know, this, Short list, and he's interviewing a bunch of like people. So like he'll interview Rob Zombie, he'll interview um, Stephen King, he'll interview like and get you know they just kind of intersperse those sound bites everywhere. On Shutter, I think they have the actual like longer version of the interviews, the one on ones with them. But like the mm-hmm. problem is Eli Roth keeps like cutting in and cutting them off and and jumping in with stuff, and then it's just not as good. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is unfortunate because he has some really cool guests. It's it's kind of like, dude, just let him talk. <laughs> just just ask the question was, and then get out of the way. You know. I was watching the special features on the Blu-ray. Your vice is a locked room and only I have the key from 1972. Uh, Eli Roth actually had a pretty good segment on that. So yeah, but what he was but he he wasn't the interviewer. He was the interviewee, right? Exactly. That's, That's the why problem. He's better. He's at he's that. he's exactly. he's better. He's better. <laughs> uh, he's he's a terrible interviewer because he wants to jump in with his own stuff. Yeah, his own deal. Yeah, yes. and, and yeah. yeah. Like I think there was one. I think it was on the Stephen King one. Like Stephen King's about to like go into this like whole thing he's never told anyone about or some story, and then like Eli Roth jumps in with something, and Stephen King forgot what he was talking about. We never get to it. And you're like. Oh, wow. I just like forget. shut the fuck Come up and on. let him talk. <laughs> now, Lisa, uh, I have one last thing on here. Uh, I and I'm going to I'm going to announce next month's uh, horror movie theme month in honor of Guillermo May del Toro, which is next month's uh, theme. All Guillermo del Toro produced or directed movies. There is a TV show coming out this year called Cabinet of Curiosities, kind of like a um, anthology series. You know, obviously it's going to be drama, horror, mystery type things. It's Guillermo del Toro. But 
One of the episodes features Rupert Grint. Oh. Oh, so are you interested in that one? Yeah. Yes. All right. One of the leads, Rupert Grint. And there you go. He's in episode six. Okay. So I'm looking through coming soon. Let me throw some other movies out there and see if (laughs) any of these strike a chord with you or Mitch. I highly doubt it. The new Downton Abbey Abbey movie is opening May 20th. Downtown Abbey. I'm assuming that's a nope. No, I'll just just watch Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. That movie was Mm -hmm. very good either. We already talked about Doctor Strange, which obviously we're seeing. Jurassic World Dominion. No? I could not care less. I'd almost okay. rather watch Marvel movies than Jurassic Park movies. I'm all in, baby. Funny you should say that, Nate, <laughs> because Thor Love and Thunder opens July 8th. So you're all in on that, right? No, I'm not in. I'm not in. Well, it's Taika Waititi. No. Come on now. You're going to. You know. I mean, I like Taika Waititi. Don't get me wrong. But I don't Natalie know Portman or I think turns into aren't the Thor. Thor movies like the least well regarded of the Marvel movies? They've gotten a lot better since the first. Okay, one. They've gotten better. OK, yeah, I, yeah, they've 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 gone away from like where it was failing was that they were not letting him was that was kind of be movie. Well, OK, <laughs> they were not leaning into the more comedy aspects, which uh, Hemsworth it's is like much better at. A big comedy guy. Yeah, yeah, these are. Ever since they started letting Thor be a little funnier and kind of doing that stuff, he he it's really his character and all that stuff has taken off. So I'm excited for this one. The other movies are not anywhere near as good. So um Got it. Okay. Thor. All right. What else? What else you got? The Bob's Burgers movie. I've never seen Bob's Burgers. I don't know. <gasps> Ooh, to Delisa. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. That's a, just, that was an audible gas. That was an audible gas. Shame. At least it got lightheaded Bob's from all that so good. rush of uh air there. I'm telling you. I may have been the biggest gasp yet. Uh Top Gun Maverick. Eh. <laughs> eh. I'm not in on that one either. Oh uh, sorry, one sorry beach volleyball enthusiasts. Yeah, no, no, no beach volleyball for me. I'm in Portland. Now. One it's that like I'm probably I'm probably too excited for is Lightyear. Is this a Buzz Lightyear solo movie? Yes. yes. Oh my it's an origin movie. <laughs> it's gonna be they already had fantastic. the concentration camp toy story movie. What else do you even <laughs> need at this point? Jesus. It's gonna be fantastic. Wow. Because it's basically it's about the real Buzz Lightyear who the who the toy is based off of, if that makes sense. Yeah, totally. That's real, real <laughs> yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. real one. What yeah. if that one, that movie segued into like Alien? And Buzz yeah. Lightyear is ripping. Probably still better That'd than be Prometheus. Something. So that makes sense. Oh. I like Prometheus. So <laughs> my point being, yeah, yeah that's, uh, uh, that's, that's 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 for that's for me just saying Lisa thinks I'm cool. Oh, and there's a movie, Lisa Mitch. Or there's cool. a movie, Mitch and Lisa. I think you guys will like May 6th, The Hatching. I, this is one I missed. Comes out on Hulu. Yeah, I know. I saw that. Oh, you saw a trailer for Hatching. This sounds like a. This well, no, like a it's also coming out in theaters. It's going to be an AMC. Thrills okay. and chills. So yeah, it looks like a movie you guys would like. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking Isn't about, but I guess I'm in. It's a movie it's, called Hatching. Hatching. It's just yeah. it's look at the trailer. The hatching, Trailer's incredibly good. It there's a little all I see from this, there's a little girl and a giant egg. And like I'm not talking like I'm like this egg is bigger than she is. And apparently it says 12-year-old Tinja is desperate to please her mother, a woman obsessed with presenting the image of a perfect family. One night, Tinja finds a strange egg. What hatches is beyond belief. Like invasion oh, of body snatchers meets. I am not liking young the girl from trauma this movie. story. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, this is bad. Okay, that's not happening. <laughs> anyway, who's getting my in the horror point game? Was, that's the main story. The main uh, story right there. Yeah. My point was, if everything Nate 
mentioned sounded horrible. I'm giving you alternatives. Okay. So there you go. All right. There you go. A lot of options for your, for yeah, your summer lot of, viewing lot of going on. pleasure. Um, I don't know. There's a lot. Uh, I'm interested on movies on both sides of the aisle there. There you go. Should be a good summer. Apparently, I'm the only one interested in Jurassic Park. Jesus. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm interested. I am. Maybe I just don't have to start to I don't know. I'm excited right now. Look, it's not a horror movie. It's but the it should third be. one. It's the third. But all the original it's... people are coming back. It's the requel, Nate. <laughs> oh my god! Fuck it's them. the requel. Mitchell, you fuck this. I hate you it. Say I hate. You it. cannot say Nate has Ugh. discerning taste with the crap that he's made us watch. Ugh. No, no, no. I, I just be. I, I probably just don't. But then again, I really want to see the new Nick Cage film. Um. Yeah, that's incredible. The yeah. Boy reviews are great, and it's basically him also doing like yeah. calling back to like every single one of his like eight hundred movies. <laughs> well, no, he's playing like a fictional version of himself. Yeah, but I think he movie. like makes like references to like a bunch of his older other movies and stuff. Well, he's himself, but like a more ridiculous version of himself in real life, which is something. Again, I don't know why what I'm saying is any different. Than what it is. In any case, it looks like a great film. So, yeah, and that's not a 24 movie. So maybe you'll like it. Probably, it's a higher likely higher likelihood. Um, that said, all right. Well, look, you've got your choice of movies, and of course, leave us those five or star reviews, and you can get even other choices for your summer viewing pleasure. Nate, where can they find us? You can find us as always at Texas Podcast Massacre on Twitter, Texas Podcast Massacre everywhere else. Give us a call. Look, we just had two, two, I would say great voicemails. Uh, Lisa on the contractual. I don't know. And what's the clause in the contract when she breaks contract is the real question that we didn't even get to. Is that like you have to watch like all the ring movies back to back? I don't oh know. my gosh! You know it's you know we'll we'll say yeah I'll have to look and get the magnifying glass. No, fine print. if that happens, I'm unionizing. It's not. <laughs> if you want to talk against Lisa's union, Workers call us rights. at three four six two four six three one four three. That's three four six two four six three one four three. Let us know anytime Lisa slips up. Let us know. Just give us a call. Makes us look. It's like a. <laughs> it's now become a tip line. Uh, <laughs> It's oh become, my gosh. It's become an anti-Lisa tip line. I don't know. Give us a five-star review on the podcast platform of your choice. Put a movie in there. We'll watch it. Look, we watched Passion of the We watched Passion of the Crust. I I went back and looked through all of the movies that we did just so I could kind of like see some of the people I was interested in, like their new movies. So I found you know some of the movies that we find on the list. I mean, we watched Deadly Detention and The Shed. Remember The Shed and Deadly Detention, Mitch? Uh, I Remember do, those? unfortunately. Yeah, we watched those. So you can really put in anything. Well, Aftershock was pretty bad. <laughs> that was another Eli Roth and Eli Roth masterpiece. We've watched all these movies. Give us a review. We'll, we'll watch your bad movie or good movie. Maybe, maybe you yeah. can be the one. Like, Lisa's feel- getting a lot of crap this episode. You be the one to request the Lisa <laughs> friendly movie, and she will be forever in your debt. How about that? That could be the way to to go spin. This. Yeah, feel free to not to, to suggest a good movie. Like it doesn't have to all be <laughs> shit ones. It could be like a good one. There's a second Jack Frost movie. I mean, no, no god that one damn it, there. Nate. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yeah. So yeah, thanks for the voicemails. <laughs> that was super fun. Give us more and get, get let's give Lisa a little break here on this one because she's got to watch. Guillermo del Toro this whole next month. Oh gosh. There'll be, there'll, be, there'll be some interesting children in peril movies, unfortunately, in like three of them. So, yeah. Uh, there you go. This is your uh, spirit animal here, Nate, uh, this next month. So, we're with the child endangerment. So, we're going to be, it's going to be some. Uh, listen, thank you so much for all of us here at Texas Podcast Massacre. Thank you so much for tuning in. And just keep telling yourself. It's only a movie. Good night.